The story of People's Republic is uh, about a group called the Aramov clan and it's basically a massive international smuggling operation. And uh, when I've written the previous Cherub books, I've always found that I've been under pressure to wrap the whole story up in one book. So what I've decided to do with this new series is to spread that story over three books so that we can really get into the bad guys in depth and meet the new characters and not just uh, get to know the good guys, but get to know the bad guys in the stories as well. The two main new characters is a guy called Ryan. Uh, he's one of four brothers. He's a newly qualified Cherub agent and uh, he's kind of a bit apprehensive because it's the start of his Cherub career and he just wants everything to go right and everything to go well. But the other major character in the new series is Ning. She's a Chinese girl. I'm not going to reveal too much about her because her story is unveiled through the course of the book, but uh, she's this very cool, very rebellious character. And uh, at the start of the book, we're not really sure whether she's going to end up as one of the good guys or one of the bad guys. At the end of the day, the cornerstone of Cherub is that it's realistic and believable, and I didn't want to carry on with James as a sort of 19, 20 year old. So in People's Republic, we've got a new set of characters led by Ryan and Ning, who are young and exciting, and they sort of get to go on missions and muck around and stuff, just like the kids did in the early Cherub books. And that's one of the reasons why writing this new book was so much fun.